Hi, I'm Rob Bigby, the CEO of Continuum Powders. It's my great pleasure to be here today at one of our most trusted partners, Amp Labs. Amp Labs is a manufacturer based in Houston, Texas, focused on the additive manufacturing of metals, polymers, and nylons. We exist because manufacturers today are faced with increasingly complex parts and dwindling supply chains. When looking at powder providers, Continuum really stood out because of the collaborative nature. We're able to work on end-use applications, develop powder recipes that match client expectations, and have a continuous feedback loop providing quality solutions to our customers. A continual supply allows us to rapidly respond to customer requests in the market, as well as supply them consistent quality results. Having a domestic supply for that takes out all the noise and allows us to execute. With using Continuum Powder, we're able to achieve what hasn't been achieved in BinderJet, which is printing more M247 for end-use products. M247 is a unique alloy that has very good high thermal properties, um, and it delivers quite extensive capabilities in power generation or turbine generation. What we're doing at Continuum is allowing this material now to be used in additive manufacturing spaces because today it's only casted and uh, developed as a single crystal uh, type material. Mars performance as far as the printability of it is actually really excellent. Uh, has great flowability, the powder doesn't stick to itself. It's just been really, really easy to use in the PSD and the spread, the settings that we've worked with developing. We strive for these types of relationships because really what we're trying to do is bring a unique technology to f complete the full circle with regards to metals recycling and powder production, but we need partners like AMP that also bring the capabilities of new advanced manufacturing to the market. Uh, looking forward, I see the AMP and Continuum partnership evolving with us working together and developing new powders, new recycled materials, and bringing them to market together. It allows us to have parts the first time instead of the third or fourth in movement. 